taking a deep inhale and a big sigh. Welcome here to this closing circle. To all who are present here now and observing in the streams or here in the Zoom, thank you for your presence. And to all who will observe this closing circle ceremony of the 12 days of solstice magic after, thank you for your energy and your presence. This rising session will be about connecting to and holding our vision of the new earth. And we will be working um, through some of the various affirmations and visualizations that we have throughout the last 12 days, as well as a couple of the Kundalini Kriyas, which help us attune our intuition and energies of truth and infinite balance with our elements. And um, that will be the Kirtan Kriya, which we practiced at some point. And also uh, the, I forget what it's called, but it's the, I just remembered as the Ramadasa <laughs> Kriya, where we'll hold the earth and the galaxy in our hands and we'll sing Ramadasa Sa Se So Hung. And I'll remind um, those actions as we get closer to them. So as we begin just connecting to the breath, I invite you to really consider your vision of your full self, your true self, your true life, and how this expression of your true self will make its way into the coming year and make waves in the earth, in your community, with your loved ones, in your relationships, in your own body, mind, and spirit. What waves of change are you ready to invite? We'll just begin with these cleansing breaths that we've been doing, the 12 cleansing inhales and releasing sighs. As you feed your vision with light. Releasing any limitations to the vision purifying all doubts and inviting connection, inspiration to your higher self and higher power. Sense and imagine with these breaths that you are essentially downloading source consciousness. while uploading your hopes and dreams. And this allows you to manifest. Really allowing your breath to flow throughout this process of holding the vision. Maybe you want to connect to the energy in your hand chakras by rubbing the hands together. We practiced a bit yesterday of holding Mother Earth in our hands or in our laps. Imagining that we are holding her with as much love as we hold our children, our pets, our loved ones with love and compassion. Feeling the energy magnetic and electric gathering in the centers of the hands, then creating a little space between the hands and maybe seeing if you can make a little warmth pass between the hands or some magnetism, a little bit of a polar balancing. And then just envision that you're holding the earth in your hands and you can rest them wherever feels right for you. And throughout this visioning process, as you continue to breathe, pour in light to Mother Earth and see yourself making these waves of loving change in your own life, in your own thoughts, in those of your loved ones, in your family and friends, to all our relations means every connection we have ever known in this life and lives beyond. When we call in this energy of to all our relations, we call in the ancestors before us and 
the generations to come. And when we focus our vision on the seven generations previous and seven generations forward, we receive inspiration from Great Spirit to activate deeper sustainability in our daily lives. And that sustainability starts with the inner narrative. we make that may not actually be necessary if we fully love ourselves. As you connect into your vision and you breathe with the earth in your hands, to see your breath and your heart creating waves of light, waves of transformation, we'll just breathe with that for
So we will begin with our Kirtan Kriya, the palms face up with starting in Chin Mudra on the knees and then sequencing through the mudras, Satanama. 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 Satanama 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 
sa ta na ma transitioning to a whisper sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa ta na ma sa In silence, doing your best to keep the rhythm, and you activate sort of a belly pumping with the syllables. Switching back to a whisper. Transitioning back to full voice on the next sa. Sa ta na ma. 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 Sata nama, Sata nama, Sata nama, Sata nama, Sata nama, Sata nama. Index fingers and thumbs together, deep inhale. Breathing in deeply, imagining a million little stars surrounding you, little pinpoints of golden light surrounding you and shining through you. 
like little star lasers of gold, blue, silvery light. Circulating around you like a galaxy and bringing light through every cell. How can I live in balance? How can I see more clearly? How can I live in balance? How can I see more clearly? Just rolling your shoulders out a little bit. Maybe rolling out the wrists and the hands. Just stretching through the spine and the neck a bit. And then when you feel ready to come back into stillness, you can bring your elbows in line with the shoulders the palms face up to the sky. And uh, if this is becomes too much for your shoulders, you can bring the hands in front of the heart as well and hold them up. And we're going to envision, you can choose a different thing in each hand if you feel or a different energy or person, or you can envision the earth twice or the earth and the galaxy or the earth and yourself, the earth and a loved one, or family members in each hand or a place in the earth in each hand and do your best to feel a warmth or a bit of a weight in the hand as you envision the healing, um, the energy or the person or the thing that you wish to bring healing to with this mantra and vision of white gold light filling the palms from the central sun, from the sky, from the guru, the source, Wahe Guru. And the mantra is Rama Dasa Sa Se So Ham. And we'll just sing that along together for three minutes. Rama Dasa Sa Se So Ham. Rama da sa sa se so ham 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 Rama da sa sa se so am. 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 Rama da sa 
sa se so am rama ga sa sa se so am rama ga sa sa se so am rama ga sa sa se so am rama ga sa sa se so am rama ga sa sa se so am rama da sa sa se so am rama da sa sa se so am deep in hell big sigh <sighs> releasing breath through clearing anything that is no longer serving you inhale gratitude exhale bring your left hand over your heart center and your right hand over your belly over the solar plexus you can stretch out your legs if you need to readjust your seat and breathe into your heart and core connecting the center of the soul the deep intuition of the solar plexus the core gut instinct to the unconditional loving acceptance of the heart center and as you breathe feel trust and confidence rising in your body as you are choosing each day to devote to your practices and feel this connection of your core and your heart uniting in an infinity loop energy and this rising up and out the top of your head through sahasrara the crown chakra acting as a beacon calling in the light of your highest self the light of your guides and angels to pour down through you and through your space clearing and cleansing and activating your space with the light of the vision of truth of the true self and the true earth and we'll go through some affirmations for the chakras or the energy centers starting with the root i am grounded i am stable i am balanced i am strong I am grounded, I am stable, I am balanced, I am strong. I am grounded, I am stable, I am balanced, I am strong. I am light. I am infinite, creative, life force, potential. I am infinite, creative, life force, potential. I am infinite, creative, life force, potential. I am light. I trust myself. I believe in me. I am powerful. I trust myself. I believe in me. I am powerful. I trust myself. I believe in me. I am powerful.
I am light. I love myself. I accept myself. I am love. I love myself. I accept myself. I am love. I love myself. I accept myself. I am love. I am light. I hear the truth, I speak the truth, I share the truth. I hear the truth, I speak the truth, I share the truth. I hear the truth, I speak the truth, I share the truth. I am light. I can and will see the truth. I can and will perceive the truth. I can, I can and will be truth. I can and will see the truth. I can and will perceive the truth. I can and will be truth. I can and will see the truth. I can and will perceive the truth. I can and will be truth. I am light. I am a clear and open channel of the love and the light of creation. I am a clear and open channel of the love and the light of creation. I am a clear and open channel of the love and the light of creation. I am light. I am open to receive the light of my highest and brightest self. I am open to receive the light of my highest and brightest self. I am open to receive the light of my highest and brightest self. I am grounded, I am stable, I am balanced, I am strong. I am grounded, I am stable, I am balanced, I am strong. Just returning to the awareness of your breath and the feeling of sinking in, envisioning your roots growing down or sensing a tingling on the legs and feet, growing roots down into the floor and down through the building you're within. These roots creeping down through all the construction underneath and into the foundations and into the soil below. As these roots grow deeper and deeper, all the way into the core of Mother Earth, drinking in of the unconditional loving support that Mother Earth provides us. And fill her with your gratitude. Fill yourself with gratitude. I am grateful. I am grateful. Thank you, Mother Earth. I am grateful for this day. I am grateful for this life. Thank you, Mother Earth. 
We are grateful for this day. We are grateful for this life. Thank you, Mother Earth. We are grateful for this day. We are grateful for this life. We thank you. Bring your palms in prayer at your heart and bow in honoring of yourself for this journey, for showing up for yourself each day and connecting to your spirit. And revisit your vision of your deepest, truest expression and the healed true earth that we are cultivating in our consciousness. And through consciousness, we bring change. And it is invited that each of you who receives this transmission takes five minutes a day until the end of this year to focus on your vision. You can, of course, take much longer if you wish, and even one minute will suffice. And as much as you can make this choice to sit and breathe and focus deeply on your vision of what you are creating for your life and what we all need and deserve here as children of the universe experiencing physical bodies on Mother Gaia, Pachamama, Unshimaka, Grandmother Earth. Seeing this vision of the possibilities of equality and love unconditional all things needed, provided for, all people treated with love and fairness, the lessening of violence and the end to war. May we see and feel, sense, envision, create with our hearts a world of infinite potential, infinite light and life force, a world where destruction is no longer one of our purposes, where it is a natural part of the process of letting go of the old, but no longer an intentional action. This is all about awakening to true compassion. And this time of year reminds us of the Christed consciousness. And this Christed consciousness is of unconditional love for all creatures, all of God's creation, all of creator's creation, the mother, father, God, the cosmic source particle. This energy is ever present within all practices of compassion. This Christed consciousness or Krishna consciousness or Buddha consciousness, they are one and the same. And it is when we start to dissolve those barriers and truly honor ourselves in this process that we find oneness and what oneness really means. And we are all in this journey together in this oneness, whether it seems like separate paths are taking place or not. This journey is for everyone and everyone is taking it in their own way. This journey of awakening, of ascension, of self-realization. It may take many lifetimes for some, and it may all come together in one, as that is what we are moving back to, the oneness of the source of all that is. To all our relations, blessed be this 12 days of solstice magic and this 13th rising meditation. <laughs> and um, thank you to all who have been present and all who will be working on holding your vision until the end of the year. So it's a, a week of deeply holding your vision of the new earth and preparing it for being grounded in on the new year's um, portal. And this new year's contains a lot of interesting energy for us to really pull in joy and celebration as it's been a very interesting year for most people. And I know that many of you out there are ready to bring this year to a close and see what's possible out of all the magical gifts and lessons and strengthenings that you've received throughout this year, all the choices you've made to activate your light. And so I thank you for your presence at this time. And I thank you for the work that you're doing in the world and um, happy holidays, Merry Christmas. Thank you to the Christ consciousness, to the guides, angels and ancestors for being here with us through this 12 days of solstice magic. 
happy Yuletide to those of you who are, pra who are practicing happy everything because it's holiday season and we're all in it together. And when we break those barriers, we become one again. So thank you for being present from whatever walk of life you are observing this um, work from and for doing your work in your own life, bridging the gap however you can. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Namaste, Satnam.